because every new PC game that comes out really tries to push it. And so, so I'm close to that edge we try to keep. But so we're right there. So what we do is we don't need to refresh as often as you might think. Uh, we're working with the publishers on this and the developers on this okay. and what we've done is we've built a system that's very, very optimized for this purpose. And so that actually allows us to have more leeway than a, uh, you typically would have. Because one of the things that we get to do, for example, is we are only trying to run this, right? So everything we do within these servers is designed to run this really, really well. Okay. Um, and so we just we refresh when we need to, but um, it's, it's basically to keep the guess the new games come along as new titles happen. We'll make sure our hardware is always capable of running. Is this like an app right now? Or this no, isn't on there yet. This right? isn't so, available yet. But it'll be an app. That's the plan at some point. We don't have a release date for this. We use this just to dem uh, demonstrate the concept and also just to get people comfortable with the fact that look, mobile apps everywhere. Uh, could be a cell phone, could be Android, could be oh. Apple, could be an iPad, could be a netbook. So why don't you just have that running out there just constantly 24-7? Just um, plugged in. We've got, well, this one's great because we get to walk around and we get to show uh, people. Have you been you walking get, around oh, yeah. the show? Oh. <laughs> okay, shake me into the take me into the arena so yeah. that my husband can see this. Okay, this is hubby. Live. This is on live, running live over wireless. Now it's going to defeat me. Uh, you can see me jumping in and out. Someone playing Assassin's Creed. Uh, here we are in Seattle, watching someone playing Assassin's Creed. I have no idea where they are, but I do know that our servers are down in San Jose. Jump, watch somebody else. Oh, someone else playing Assassin's Creed. Apparently, it's the uh, game today. Mafia 2, uh, ask about what kind of titles we got on. That only released yeah, that last week. Released. Yeah. <laughs> and we were the first platform. Oh, the first one? Yep, because everywhere else you had to wait for a download or go and queue for a disc. <laughs> when Mafia went live, it went live instantly. So you don't even have to do that. That's the, uh, awesome, there's, there's no waiting. Downloads. There is no waiting. It's 12 a.m. and you're on. Yep. <laughs> we, uh, a few weeks back, we did um, Lego Harry Potter. And Lego Harry Potter, you think it's a kid's game, it launched at midnight. The arena just filled up with Harry Potter. <laughs> awesome. So is that arena actually, does it work as a kind of gauge of what's popular at the moment? Um, you get some of that. It focuses on your friends initially, and then it spreads out and you can see more and more. But the other thing that we have, and this is kind of the nice about the interactive pieces of it, is you go into the marketplace, for example, and you pick a game, pick Assassin's Creed, as we know there's a bunch of people on there playing it right now. I can go and look at Assassin's Creed only arena. And this will be all people playing Assassin's Creed. And you're doing a 50% off sale, so the games to buy these games are in the $25 range instead of the $50 range. $20 for Assassin's Creed right now. Assassin's Creed 2 for 20 bucks. Assassin's Creed 2 yeah. for 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Which is totally worth it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> You'd agree to that, right? Yeah. Absolutely. 